these crab cakes. <laughs> hey, we're making crab cakes today. So we're going to start off with making the chipotle sauce that I like to use um, with my crab cakes. So we're going to start off with some good old cream cheese. And then you're going to go in with some chipotle peppers. Um, I almost used the whole can. I believe it was probably one pepper near it. I don't know why I didn't use the whole can, but you can just go ahead and throw the whole thing in. Then you're going to go in with two spoons of good old mayonnaise and a handful of cilantro and juice of half of a lime. And then you want to add in a dash of cayenne pepper just for a little kick, kick. And of course, you got to add your salt. And then you just want to blend that up. Um, the consistency was a little too thick for me, so I just added a little more lime juice just, to, you know, to thin it out. So you want it to look like that. You want the consistency just like that. So I just pour mine into my little squeezy container so it's easier for me to just squeeze. This sauce is good with tacos, quesadillas, crab cakes, sandwiches, a lot of good stuff. So just try it out and stuff, but it's really good. So you're just going to set that to the side and... Now we're going to get started with the main attraction, which is the actual crab cake. You want to um, start off with some lump crab meat, but nobody don't. Dump that into a bowl. Then you want to get your mayonnaise. I don't like a lot of mayonnaise in my crab cakes. Just a small spoonful, and that's it. Then you want to add your Dijon mustard, a squeeze. That's it. Then your Worcestershire, two splashes. That's it. It your Tabasco, you're gonna do a few splashes. Then you're gonna go in with some black and season. This one right here is my ultimate favorite by Ashman House. Um, I'm pretty sure they have a market, but I ordered from their website because I ordered by the case, but it's lovely. You're gonna go in with some Obey, some Creole, a few sprinkles of that, and then you're gonna go in with some onion powder, and of course, some garlic. You can have seafood without garlic. So just a few sprinkles of that, and then you're going to add some pinko bread crumbs into the mix. Juice of a half of a lemon, and then we're going to mix this all together. You want to make sure it's mixed very well, but you don't want to mix it too much where you're breaking up the um, crab meat, because of course that's why you were eating um, crab meat. You want to separate it to two. You want to make form two um, patties. This is going to be your two portions. Just want to make this a patty. We're going to get all that crab meat. Ain't nobody getting left behind in this bowl, baby. Let's go. So you just want to form that into two patties. And then set to the side and get that ready to get floured down. So next, I just take some pink old breadcrumbs. Put them into a small little sandwich baggie. Um, I do this because the breadcrumbs are a little too big for me. For my liking, at least. So I like to um, beat it up to break it down, make them smaller. But I don't want to turn it into dust, just smaller than what it is. So you just want to simply beat it. You could use a grinder or whatever you have, but this is just way easier to do. So you just want to beat, 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 boom. Just until it looks something like this here. And of course, we have to season it. So I'm gonna just go in with the just until it's nicely seasoned. You just wanna shake that around, get you a bowl, dump that in. And then you wanna get three eggs, crack it into your bowl, get all of them in there. For some reason that third one was a little smaller than the other two. Then you just wanna beat this up until it's nicely whisked to that all. Then you want to get your third bowl. If y'all know about lefty flour, y'all best to get on it. Because that shit is bizarre. But you, that's what you want to put in the third bowl. So the first thing you want to do with the crab cake is get that into their lefty seasoned flour. And I just like to keep reforming it. And then you want to dip it into the eggs. And then you want to get it into the pinko breadcrumbs. Just get everything nicely coated. And then you want to do the same thing with the second one, right? And I'm going to be quiet with the second one and just let y'all watch.
here we just have some um, canola oil it should be on medium high now when I tell y'all this doesn't take long at all you see how it's already brown and and that's how you're gonna know once it's like that looks beautiful but when I tell y'all this takes 30 to 45 seconds it takes 30 to 45 seconds you do not want to walk away from these that is beautiful it doesn't take long for it to get that nice brown color that we're looking for so please don't walk away from them so you want to take that out and we're going to go in once again and we're going to watch how fast you're going to start to see it brown around the edges and then that's when you're going to know when to flip it you don't want to get it too dark or you don't want to burn them because it will burn if you leave it and they'll be too long. The second side might only take 15 seconds because they cook super fast. You just want to take them out of the oil. Mm, Y'all see how good that looked and how easy and simple that was. So next we're just going to top it with that chipotle sauce we made. And listen, we had to zoom in on this bad boy right here. Yes, Lord. Zoom in and let's get into it. Jesus, that looks, it's delicious, y'all. Make this for your boyfriend. Make this for your girlfriend. Make it for some damn body. Listen, like, subscribe, comment. Until next time.